IMAT is um, a smaller exam when you compare to NEET and there is more time per question. One is like solely on memorization. The other one um, is like more of strategy based and um, not just memorization. Um, focusing so much on uh, maths, uh, which for a very few marks, then that's going to waste a lot of time. Uh, in the case of biology, I believe that uh, some concepts are beyond our NCRT textbook. It's not uh, said like if you look into the IMAT syllabus, some things are not um, specifically there in our um, Indian syllabus. Start from scratch. What is actually IMAT? And specifically for Indian students, because Indian people think, okay, need I might is same, but it's quite mm, difficult. It's quite different. So, and what strategy needs to be done? Okay, start from scratch. Uh, so IMAT is an exam just like in India we have NEET for MBBS. Uh, in Italy we have IMAT. Uh, unlike NEET, NEET is like uh, for all courses like um, med medical, agriculture, BDS, uh, BSc, nursing, everything is included. IMAT is only for medicine. Uh, and uh, when we're comparing both, uh, specifically IMAT and NEET, uh, both require two completely different strategies. Uh, first of all, in the case of NEET, I believe um, it's a huge exam. Time-wise, it's uh, more, uh, and there's like around uh, like uh, biology itself, 360 physics, 180 marks, and chemistry, 180 marks, and it's the time constraint is also there. And I believe it's more of a rote memorization. It's like mainly based on your memory. Uh, when you consider NEET, uh, you you don't need a lot of uh, strategical thinking yes in physics you do need logical thinking but you don't need a lot of uh, strategical thinking i would say uh, unlike the imat imat is um, a smaller exam when you compare to neat and there is more time per question because uh, in neat there's like around only one minute per question in the imat you get like around one minute and like around 30 seconds yeah. so one and a half minutes is there yeah. so um, the time for question is more and uh, questions do need a bit more thinking, especially like in the case of biology and all. It's not usually direct questions like which you get in NEET. Mm -hmm. NEET is like you wrote, memorize the NCRT textbook, especially in the case of biology. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you will score very well for biology and uh, for physics and chemistry, you just need to have a really good conceptual understanding for NEET. But in the case of IMAT, you need um, a really good conceptual understanding in biology as well. Um, and there's physics, there's chemistry, and uh, one more thing to note, uh, in IMAT there is maths, and there's a logical uh, thinking section, and uh, reading co comprehension to test your English, and uh, so there's a difference, uh, because I feel like IMAT te tests all attributes, um, including mathematical skills, which I believe need tests through physics, but in the IMAT they separately test it. So um, that is the main difference if you consider by both of the exams. Uh, one is like solely on memorization. The other one um, is like more of strategy based and um, not just memorization. Like you should have a lot of conceptual understanding in the case of IMAT. Um, and if you, if somebody is looking to prepare for the IMAT, I believe that um, Indian students specifically are 11th and 12th do cover a large proportion of the IMAT syllabus, like a lot of the IMAT syllabus, um, especially I feel like physics and chemistry is like more than sufficient are uh, 11th and 12th. And if you took uh, maths in 11th and 12th, that as well, it's more than sufficient. Uh, in the case of biology, I believe that uh, some concepts are beyond our NCRT textbook. It's not uh, said like if you look into the IMAT syllabus, some things are not um, specifically there in our um, Indian syllabus. I feel like that we should learn extra and bring a more conceptual understanding and not just rote memorize because I believe that even uh, our Indian exams which are written, they encourage us to do that. 
so i believe that uh, they should you know you should consider studying it more in on a understanding basis especially in the case of biology because in the imat a large proportion of the exam is biology in neat it kind of gets balanced out because physics chemistry um and then there is a uh, biology so uh, it's like uh, physics chemistry 45 45 uh, so 90 and biology 90 it's like that so it's like your physics and chemistry is almost uh, when you add them both together that comes equivalent to your biology uh, score so you should be like you know uh, you should study all equally but in the case of uh, i might believe uh, math uh, this uh, maths and uh, physics is quite lower less. yeah quite less so you don't need to focus as much as time you would for uh, here, more like physics and chemistry uh, you need to focus sorry, biology biology and, biology, and and biology and chemistry yes biology and chemistry because they do make a major proportion of the exam and logical reasoning is very easy so i believe that it's easy marks so we should always uh, aim for easy marks mm -hmm. and uh, not at all uh, time consuming as well cuz if if at all uh, you know you waste uh, time um focusing so much on uh, maths uh, which for a very few marks then that's going to waste a lot of time because if at all there is a lot if if it's okay like if you've finished studying everything and uh, you know you want to learn something more then yes you can go for that but then like if there is still more things you can brush up on in biology chemistry uh then i don't think we should you know you should waste a lot of time on maths and such subjects which are low in weightage and within uh, biology itself like if you do a lot of past papers uh in uh, biology and chemistry you will see a lot of questions a lot of concepts are specifically repeated i guess the imat exam which i wrote uh there was like this certain concept in genetics which was uh, repeated there was like two three questions within that in the same exam within one singular topic so every year i believe that uh, there are certain topics which are there from like since the past 10 years that topic has been uh, can, can you please highlight that topic can you please highlight that topic uh, genetics uh, that topic uh, is quite uh, frequently repeated uh, in the in imat yes it's uh, it's quite frequently repeated uh, and uh, in chemistry um, physical chemistry quite uh, frequently some concepts in uh, some there are some basic concepts like in physical chemistry that is also quite frequently uh, uh, repeated like uh, repeated like mole concept and all um, which of course uh, it's really important everyone should be knowing that if they know uh, chemistry properly so that is repeated quite frequently um and um, in physics since the number of questions are low i mean uh, motion that like laws of motion and all are repeated but uh, i mean this year also there was uh, but um, sometimes some years i've seen it not come up like you know some other topic come up because the number of questions are really few uh, so it's not necessary that you know the specific topic topic you studied from that should come but then in the case of biology yes there is some topics which are repeated every single year uh, and that that is there so i guess it's primarily that if we you know if you study smart like uh, assessing everything and do a lot of past papers then you know um it's good